Hi everyone, welcome back to a little bit more Atlantic Fleet. We're going to do something different today. Um, those of you who know, been following me on Twitter will know I've got a bit of a plumbing emergency in the house, so uh, my time this week is going to be very short for recording and streaming. Um, so a lot of it is going to be uh, all over the place and not your usual kind of uh, content. But I thought we'd just do a little bit of a custom battle just to see. This should probably go on longer than I, I'm expecting, but I thought. Would it be nice to see the big battleships of World War II um, in the Atlantic come to bear? So that's what I've done. I've just set up a random um, uh, conflict here, custom battle. And on the British side, which I'll be fighting in the Royal Navy, we have the battleship Duke of York, the battleship Lion, the battleship Nelson, the battleship Prince of Wales, and the battleship Warspite, with a heavy cruiser Suffolk. I don't know why I decided to put a heavy cruiser in there as well. Uh, on the Axis side, we have the battleship Bismarck, the battleship Gneisenau, the battleship Hutton, the battleship Scharnhorst, and the battleship Tirpitz, uh, with the heavy cruiser Lutzo. And I thought this is going to be some heavyweight Titan-esque fighting, and I thought this could just about cheer me up a little bit. So, the Germans are set with... Um, experienced um, basically dead-eye aim uh, <laughs> which could be a challenge but I thought it'd be nice to see some heavy metal um, being slung at each other um, as a little bit of a spice up wild card we have one Condor bomb drop available to them and we have one Lancaster Grand Slam um, a Grand Slam can take out uh, actually I'm gonna put two two to one because the Grand Slam can indeed take out a, a ship so uh, we'll go two to one for there and uh, let the battle begin. There goes the Grand Slam bomb. Opens fire. Right. Did I say I took charge of the Royal Navy? No, it would appear I'm with the Germans. Okay, bugger. <laughs> the Bismarck is in all sorts of bother. Crikey. Um, bless her. Right, okay. Um, we need to get her... Oh, she's pretty much scuppered. Isn't oh, her rudder's damaged, so there's not much we can do except move forward. Um, crikey. Right, okay. Um, let's target... Maybe the Suffolk. The Suffolk is uh, right there. The wind is light going that way. Um, elevation of 11.4. Oh my goodness me. We're on the back foot straight away. Right, let's just do a slight wiggle for the, uh, the, the wind. And we return fire from the beleaguered Bismarck. And the Suffolk is um, away. Right, Gneis now next. What should we do? Let's um, turn slowly to port. Make sure we can bring that rear turret into the uh, the fray. Um, behind the Suffolk, we have the Prince of Wales. Right, you engage that. Is that the Prince of Wales? The Prince of Wales. There she is. It's a beautiful ships, aren't they? Look at them. <sighs> Never has such a flotilla ever been assembled. Um, right, elevation of 12. There you go, 12 point. 
12.2, there we go. Uh, adjust for the winds. We still get the rear turret in. Excellent, fire. Nice. All right, the Hutton. Oh, she is a beauty. Look at her. Um, okay, she can sort of, again, a bit of a port turn. Um, I didn't turn sharp enough, actually. Uh, thinking about it, I may not be able to target... No. Right, we can target the Nelson with uh, all barrels. So, we'll go to elevation of 16.8. And uh, adjust for the wind. Uh, it's quite a bit of a sh range. We'll put a bit more adjustment on there if I can just tweak it. There we go. Uh, a bit more height, I think. There we go. Fire. <laughs> Okay, the wind did take that a little bit more than I thought. Right, the Scharnhorst. How should we do? Right, again, turn to port. We'll um, we'll get the angle of the dangle right. Target the Suffolk. Actually, let's finish. Try and finish the Suffolk off, and that's one less thing to worry about. Uh, elevation of 14. 14.1, uh, 14.3, and we'll adjust for the wind. Fire. Bit of a minor hit, but okay. Turpits next. <laughs> it's just the names. The names of these magnificent ships. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Right. She's locked on to the Prince of Wales. Elevation of 12.4. The Suffolk is sinking. Wow. -wee. She's gone. First blood to us. Okay, it's only a heavy cruiser. I say it's only a heavy cruiser, but obviously these were never really going to stand up to the um, the battleships uh, too much. Right, so we can now switch attention back to the Prince of Wales. Target um, adjust for the wind. Target is for uh, 12.4, 12.5. Uh, we have 15-inch armor piercing fire. And she's just had a bit of a rinse. <laughs> right, Ludzo next. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess we target the Prince of Wales still. Um, she's got 11 inch guns, so she's a very heavy cruiser actually, compared to the Suffolk. 18.6 um, is the elevation. 18.8, that'll do, just for the wind. Fire! Oh, we've got along. But we've got a snag on the Nelson instead. That's fine. That's fine. Duke of York opens fire on the Bismarck. Oh, I don't think the Bismarck's going to be here for much longer. <laughs> she's, she's struggling a little bit. The Lion opens fire. Oh, again, they're all... They're doing exactly what they should do. Finish one off and move on to the next. Oh my god, that their accuracy is so good! Okay, Prince of Wales. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Thank goodness they don't have any more uh, Grand Slam bombs though. We do have two Condor bombers, don't we? So we mustn't forget that. Right, hopefully Bismarck's rudder's repaired and we can maybe move her to the back of the line. No, it's not, bugger. Uh, yeah, she's still in a bad way. All we can really do... Uh, let's alter speed then, and that may throw off their shot a little bit. I could have, I suppose, laid smoke, but um, we'd then lose our opportunity to uh, return fire. So, uh, Prince of Wales is in our sights at 23 kilometres. Uh, elevation of 10.4. Um, we've got 15 inch shells just for the wind. Fire. Ooh, we're just off. Right. Um, how are we? We are the guys now. Let's uh, continue to turn to port to get around 
the Bismarck. Targeting the Prince of Wales. How, have we done any damage to the Prince of Wales so far? Um, no. <laughs> We've got a couple of um, score marks on her, but nothing much more than that. Right. Um, so, elevation of 11.8. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, point 0.9. 8. Yep, there we go. Um, switch the guns over there. Maybe a bit more. Fire. Oh, we got her on fire. We got her on fire, boys. Right. Here we are with the battleship Hutton. I can't actually see our <laughs> our, our enemy. She's there. Uh, we were targeting the Nelson, were we? Okay, maybe we should do, follow their line and uh, target just one ship. So that ah, oh. her rear guns will not come in to fire at. at her. Okay, we will target the Nelson then, just so we can get a full broadside. Unless, should we have a bombing run? Let's do a bombing run because it's not uh, perfectly clear. Let's head over here. So this is the Hutton. No, sorry, it's not the Hutton. Hutton's our ship. This is the Prince of Wales. Um, the wind, obviously, you can see where the smoke is drifting that way. I'm trying to think which is going to be the... This is probably the easiest direction over our ships to uh, actually attack without being shot down. Um, I'm not sure if these are bombers or dive bombers. Uh, we'll have to just figure that out as we go. Um, yeah. Go on, stay. Oh, it's Condor Bomber. Of course it is. Condor Bomber. So we are doing flat bomb. So, bomb now. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good. Oh, my word. That was so close. <laughs> that was so close. That must have done some damage, though, wasn't it? Bombs exploding that close to the... Uh, maybe not. We got the we got the drop right. We just didn't quite get the uh, angle of the, uh, the fall correct. Right, still targeting the Prince of Wales. Uh, Fifteen point six is the new elevation calculation. Fire! Oh, that's long. That's really long. And we'll move up. With the turpits, right? Concentrate on so 12.5. Apparently, was bang on the money, was it? Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So we'll cluster shots. Um, we'll adjust for the wind. And uh, elevation 13.1. No, I'm going to continue. That. Good hits. Good hits. Right, over to the Lutzo. I've got 11 inch shells on here. Uh, just for the wind again. Um, 18 was well long. They're now saying it's down to 15.1, which is probably more about right. I'll open the fire. A couple of hits. Nice. Over to the Brits. Duke of York opens up on our beleaguered Bismarck. Oh my goodness. Lion opens up. Ah, she can't take much more of this. Oh. There goes the secondary turret. The war spy opens up. And she's long. Good news, we have rudder control back. Um, ha propulsion's back, steering's back. Um, okay, that's not too bad actually. Let's. Um, hard to port. I'll try not to cut these guys up. There we go. Okay, one of our um, our sea, sea turret is out of action as well. Um, but the the other th three. Hang on. I 
can I move the... Okay, the, that rear turret is out of action as well, is it? Yeah, the D turret is temporarily out of action. Okay, the C turret is destroyed. So we've got the two forward turrets and that's all. Right, okay. I think um, now would be a good time to have another bomb run. Let's target um, old Prince of Wales. Try and get the angle of his angle, right? Right, that looks pretty straight on. Right, we should score hits, I hope, this time. Oh, unbelievable! That wind is just far stronger than you could possibly imagine. Considering it's only a light blue whitey colour, anyway. That was two wasted bomb runs. Slightly annoyed with that. Um... 11.7, let's drop that down to 11.5, fire. Um, here we are, here we are with the Hutton, isn't it? It is the Hutton, yeah. Let's get rid of the ice strikes because that's not going to work. 16 inch armor piercing shells, locking on to the Prince of Wales. Let me just zoom out so I can see through the smoke from the Bismarck. Targeting ahead of her. To adjust for the wind. Elevation of 13.2. We've got it 7. Wow, 17. Yeah, 13.2 sounds about right. Actually, no, I'm going to go uh, 13.7. Okay, yeah, I thought 13.2 seemed a little short. It was probably around about 14 was the uh, sweet spot there. But we've still got some hits on. Right, Sean Hall's turn with 11-inch armor piercing. Shells, let's uh, continue to target the Prince of Wales, who's doing a terrific job of just holding in there. 12.4, uh, that seems a little low if you ask me, so I'm going to go 13.7 again. Um, Turpits, target there, uh, 10.9, that seems a little short, doesn't it? Let's go, uh, let's go 11, more or less there. Yeah, we, we, our judgment has just become a little bit short all of a sudden, so we'll have to bear that in mind. Right, 11 inch, uh, that's obviously the same as the Gleisen now and the um, Scharnhorst, so this is still a very powerful heavy cruiser. 15.9. Um, 15.3 was bang on apparently last time. So let's go 15.4. Just a little bit more for the wind. Well, okay. <laughs> All the way we're at. Duke of York is now turning her attention. Oh, still on the Bismarck. God damn it. Uh, the lion's having to move around uh, out of line. It's not making a difference to her aim. She is bang on. Oh my goodness, is that her? No, I thought that was it then. Prince of Wales is listing. But she's still firing accurately. The war spike bang on the numbers as well. Oh god, poor, poor Bismarck. Um, I'm trying to get her out of the fight, but I'm just having no luck at all. Um, so that's Duke of York. That is. What, let's have, so what's the? You've got uh, 14 inch guns. The the War Spite has 15 inch guns. Where's the Duke of York? There you are. You have um, 14 inch guns. Go oh, look at those. Look at them though. Crikey, that is a tough ship. 
Um, you've got the Nelson back here, which is your, your classic old her and Rodney. Uh, she's got 16 inch guns. Really weird setup, isn't it? Where you've got this, the third turret kind of conventionally blocked from straight on by the secondary turret. You'd have thought you'd have had them in um, like the Dido light cruiser, you know, when you have the three guns on the front, but they're, they're tiered, so one is always above the other. Obviously, this is more designed for broadside shooting, isn't it? So you can have three guns firing broadside. Oh, it's strange design. Strange design. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, armor piercing. Target the Prince of Wales. She's got to be starting to suffer in a minute. Um, where are we? 10.4 was long, apparently. Was it? Oh, yeah, it was just. Um, so 10.2. Just for the wind. Oh, the rear turret is back in action. We adjusted a little bit too much for the wind. Right, okay. Uh, good eyes now. I want you to come forward, actually. Oh, God. This is not going to end well. Um, let's try and take on a little bit of the... Um, a tank roll to sign of help the Bismarck a little bit. 10.4 uh, is the reckon. 10.4, okay. Now yeah, fire. Yeah, there, you can tell the difference between the AI's expert gunnery and my kind of wayward gunnery. When it just comes up, you know, every time they're scoring a little bit more damage each turn. And that'll take t that'll take its uh, toll over over a number of goes. You know, the attrition rate will be um, far better for them. Right, let's just... You see, we're starting to miss our shots now. Alright, continue on. 13.1. Uh, Fire. Oh, still missing our shots. It's not good. It's never good. Right, um, 10.9. Fire. Yes, 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 yes. Good. That must have done some damage. Finally, finally, she's got some damage. Huzzah. Huzzah. Good. The Prince of Wales is, uh, finally showing signs of being, um, battle wounded. Good stuff. Right, let's follow up with the heavy cruiser Ludzo. 15.6, uh, 15.3. Boop, boop. Fire. Oh, we're long. And we're skew with. I don't think I'm going to get be able to get the Bismarck out of there. Oh, the lion is turning. She's got all three turrets now for it. Oh my. It's a miss! Huzzah! Huzzah. Maybe I should just use lay smoke with the, uh, the Bismarck. Maybe that's probably. Although, you know, I still want to use her guns. That's the thing, isn't it? So, what else has got a bit of a lean on? Oh, I think her, a, her B turret took a hit then. Explosions are never good. Right, how are we doing? Oh, the turrets are not looking particularly good. The rudder's disabled again, so let's just lay some smoke. And that's the best you can do. Um, right, one third speed. Uh, actually, I need you to touch. She's not going to. She's not going to be able to turn behind Bismarck, so she's going to have to turn. In front. Brilliant. So the smoke is now blocking my shot, which is wonderful. <laughs> um, I will fire. Where were we firing last time? Where did our last shot? Our last shot fell short. So I'll notch a little, a few more notches on the elevation and we'll fire. 
Oh, nice. Blind shots. 360 no scope. Look at that. Oh, there was a big pause there. I thought, I thought for a second she was thinking about potentially sinking. But no, these are tough old ships. Right, 13.3. Probably on the money. And I notch it up to 13.4. Adjust a bit more for the wind. Fire. Oh, there goes her primary turret. Nice. Hooray turret. Lovely. Now I can't see bugger all either. Oh, apparently I can... S I can I'm not... Yeah, the smoke isn't going to affect my aim apparently. Which is... That's lovely to know. Thank you very much. Um... So we'll aim there. 12.3. 12.3? That seems a lot. No, 30.2. Let's go down to 13. Yes, and there's her B turret out of action. Sweet! Sweet! So, um... Totally destroyed. So she's only got her rearward turret and her secondary gun. So, I think for the moment... Uh, we can switch some of our attention to another ship and... Maybe just have one to finish her off. Good. Right. Turpits. Haha. -ha. We're making progress. I think the Duke of York is there. It is the G Grand Old Duke of York. Elevation of 9.9. .9. Bring it down to 10. Or 9.9. .9. Uh, the wind adjustment, of course. Fire. Ooh. Not quite. Not quite. And then we'll open up with the, um, the Lidzo as well. Elevation of 12.9. That seems a little bit much. So I'm going to be... Let's go to, say, 12.2. Adjust for the wind. Fire. Oh. No, that was, <laughs> that was drastically where I didn't think it would be. Oh, okay. They're going to still go after the Bismarck, which is kind of okay. In a, I guess in a way, which means it leaves our other ships to um... Ooh, line as well out there. You can see the listing that's going on with the Prince of Wales. Oh, that probably did some damage to this ship here. Nice. Oh, poor Bismarck. Um, oh, she's sinking. No, no. Move. No, she can't. <laughs> she, we've lost the Bismarck. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna have to try and let's just try and jink around her a little bit. Um. Okay, we've got the Prince of Wales there. Should we finish her off? Or... I, th I guess we should. Let's target about there. We'll go with the same fire rate that we had previously. Distant shells. Oh, the camera didn't work particularly well there, did it? Oh, it the Bismarck has rolled over. Oh my goodness me. Right, um, target the Duke of York. Uh, elevation 12.8, it says. 12.8. Just for the wind. Fire. Well, she's smoking. Uh, there's not much to really write home about, but um, we got her a little bit. Right, we're bang on with the Duke of, um, not Duke of York, the uh, Prince of Wales there. So if we turn there, 13. Fire. We'll still to keep a bit of fire on the uh, Prince of Wales. Nice. Uh, this one we'll turn to the attention to the Duke of York. 8.8. Um, 9.9 .9 was bang on the money last time, apparently. Yeah, it was. She's moved a little bit closer, so I'm not going to go down to it. 9.3, I think. Maybe a slight more adjustion, adjustment. Fire. Ooh, 
Oof. Close, but no cigar. Now this one, 12.3 was really short, so we'll um, target there. Um, now elevation of 14.6 is being suggested. 14.5, there we go. And we'll do that. Fire. Oh, that's well long. Oh, they're spot starting to split up their attention for different ships, which may help us. It may not, but it may. Uh, the Nelson is now coming round the Duke, uh, the uh, Prince of Wales. And if she goes um, broadside on, she'll be able to bring her third turret into uh, into the fight. Right, good eyes now, good eyes now, good eyes now. I'm going to turn you to turn you to port. Half of me wants to charge straight at them and we'll go broadside to broadside, but I don't think that's particularly a great idea. Um, right, into the wind, 8.4. Fire. Oh. Okay, we're not we're not scoring the hits we need to be scoring right now. Um, adjust for the winds. Where are we? 12.8 was long, 11, okay. We're going to open up the shots a little bit as we're kind of testing the range again. Oh, beautiful salvo. She felt that. She definitely felt that. And there's a long pause. Oh, I, when there's a long pause, you always think, ooh. Right, uh, the Sean horse is still targeting the Prince of Wales. Okay, um, 12.7, 11.8. So let's drop that down to say 12.2. Fire. <laughs> Prince of Wales is sinking. Nice. That's two battleships and a heavy cruiser gone in this battle so far. Oh, it's hard going, isn't it, eh? Let's have a look at the uh, Duke of York. How's she doing? Her main spot, main radar, and her AAA is out. Okay. Right, Turpits. Continue to move on. Concentrate all fire on that super starty Duke of York. Elevation 8.8. .8. Uh, probably about there. Fire. Not quite on the, the money, but still not bad. Not bad. Uh, target there. Last time, 14.5 was very long. 11.4. That seems very short. So I'm going to go 11.7. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a little bit more still. Oh, she's making smoke. She's trying to get out of town. Meanwhile, the line is moving in. Oh, we've lost a turret. That's a bit of a blow. That's a bit of a blow. Um, right, we're going to target probably at the same... Where were we firing last time? That was actually short last time, so we'll we'll raise the uh, the shot up to, say, 9.2. Bye. Oh, that was still a little bit long. Right, kind of see how everyone is. We're a bit tight in formation here. The smoke means all I can see really is the Duke of York, which is okay. We'll uh, we'll open fire on her. Um, were you firing at the Duke of York? You were, and you got her last time, so I'm going to drop that down to, say, 11-2. Fire.
11 2 is a little bit long. Okay. Target the Duke of York. Um, so if we go, say, 11, say, 10 8, 10 7. Yeah, fire. <laughs> Couple of hits, but no real score. Um, where do we fire last time? Duke of York, and that was long. Drop the elevation down, say to eight to two. Oh, the Duke of York is gone. Oh, it looks like we hit a a magazine, and do you see the the flurry of fire coming up? Okay, wow, okay. That has also lifted the smoke burden, which means we can start targeting other ships now. Right, so it's three to one at the moment. Um, who's next? We've got the Warspite, the Nelson, the Lion. They're the three left. Right, I think we target... Uh, okay, you might as well target the uh, the Warspite because um, she's in your kind of range. Um... Let's go 12-5. Fire. Okay, it's a little bit more than that. And the line is turning. Her rear turret still not in the action. Oh, I think she got a snag on the ship. <laughs> One of the shells hit the rigging. Yeah, the Nelson is maneuvering to bring her guns to bear. That must have done some damage. It was so close. It must have done some damage. Right. Here we are with the guys now. Um, guys now, you are kind of at the back of the pack, aren't you? So um, you're going to have to start targeting the Nelson, who's just there. 10.2, uh, you reckon? Okay. Sounds okay. 10.5. Fire. <laughs> Okay, not a bad opening salvo for her. Uh, here we are with the Hutton. Moving on. Um, I think you may target the Nelson as well. Because you got a better line of sight for her. 13.6. Um, 13.8. Fire. Okay, 13.6 would probably be a better shot. Never mind. Never mind. Right, Sean Horst. You can target. Okay, you better target the Nelson this way because I can't see anything. I can't see the uh, the war spike from here. Um, 13. Fire. Ah. Okay, we did, we're, we're kind of bringing it down so we can find them, but we're not quite there yet. Yeah, here's the Tirpitz with a knocked out turret. There, there's the ship. There's the war spike. You can, you and the Lutzo can start targeting her. 10.5. Uh, sorry, 10.8. Fire. Oh, split them. Split them. Okay. Uh, so last time we were we were short with 12.5, 13.7. Okay, let's ram that up. 13.7, fire. Okay, start clustering the shots once we get the targeting in. Oh, third turret of the line is now engaged to the turpits. Holy crap! That's another turret gone. The turpits is down to half armament. Still the punishment. They don't like the turpits at the Bismarck, do they? Right. Continue to target the Nelson. Uh, 10.5 was long. Uh, 9.6, okay. 
1.6. Fire! Oh, that's woefully short. Right, let's bring that down to uh, 11.9, they reckon. Let's go 12, then. Um, target behind. I'm going to start clustering the shots a bit more. Fire. Oh, short again. We can't afford to do this. We can't afford to do this. Um... Bring it there. So, um, 13.1 was long, apparently. Yeah, it was. Um, so, they reckon 11 points. Okay. Let's bring that down to 12.3. Nice, okay. Uh, let's do a bit of uh, jingle jangle with turpits. Let's get a, to be a moving target rather than a stationary one. That is, what is that there? Okay. We can't, smoke is blocking our shot. There's no smoke there. What are you talking about? Okay. Turpitz has been un, actually what damage has she got? Oh, the half spotter is damaged, but the four spotter is not, so I don't know. Um, we're kind of slightly handicapped here. Um, Right, so last shot was was long, um, quite a bit long. So if we bring that down to 9-2, fire. <laughs> Just our two turrets. There we go, that was some good hits. Right at the waterline as well, nice. All right, let's target her again. This time 12.8. Fire. Scored a couple of hits. The, the difference is they're knocking out our turrets, and my shots are not accurate enough to um, to pick out turrets. Ouch. God dang. Accurate. My goodness. It really is. It's like the, the Age of Sail battleships, isn't it? Just literally firing and splintering each other's hull every time. Um, right, let's continue the fire. 9.6 was on the money, apparently. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to stay at 9.6 then. They reckon 9.3, but... Fire. Oh, that's a good hit. How is the Nelson doing? Uh, absolutely fine. <laughs> she <done. laughs> no fluffs given. Um, right, so 12 was on the money last time. Yes, it was. Uh, fire. Oh, no, that was a good hit. Now, she must have a bit of damage after that. The turrets are fine though. Ah, there you go. Now, now, the pumps are struggling, which is what you really want to see. Uh, target the Nelson again. Uh, so last time, 12.3 was long. It was. What do they reckon? 11.2. Okay. Let's go 11.3. Fire. Oh, just short. Just short. Right. Oh, I should have um, dodged the turpits a little bit. Um, she still can't. She still apparently has smoke, which stops her firing, which is annoying. Fire. Boom. Absum. But from here, it's absolutely fine. Uh, we'll target the war spite again. 12.6. Fire. Oh, we've knocked out her turret. Nice! The lion is still in fine fettle, though. And 
and opening up on the tur pits. Ooh, thankfully, she missed. Wow, the Nelson is listing. Oh, she's down to secondary guns, is she? No, no. Right, the Gnai's now. Uh, damaged, but still in the fight. Uh, somebody's laying smoke. Let's move you forward so I can actually see what's going on. It's the Nelson laying smoke. Okay. I don't think that's going to save you, Sunshine. I'm just going to adjust my aim a little bit. Lower the elevation. And keep up the fire. Right. Here we are, the Hutton. Um... Continue to let's get the Nelson out. Let's get the Nelson out. Um, knock her down. Fire. Boom. Well, that's that turret out of action. <laughs> Not that it's a problem. Nelson is sinking. The Nelson's gone. The Nelson has gone. Excellent. Right, Sharnhorst. Let's target the war spite. Let's find finish her off. Then we can bring the entire remnants of the fleet against the lion uh, so 9.5 which seems a little bit down so I'm gonna go probably about 10 fire yeah it's almost a near 11 I think right turpits you turn she's obviously coming under fire from the lion but ah we can finally see the war spite wonderful Oh, that that was so beautifully accurate. Those two sh two turret shots. Is she gonna sink? Oh no, she thought about it. All right, we're gonna bring the um the Ludzo round. Um, she was on the money last time, uh, so we're gonna drop the elevation a touch and fire. Oh, and that's her front turret out of action. Nice. I think the lion is now thinking I might need to get out of town. Oh, but she still leaves a hell of a black eye on. On poor Turpitz. Right. Um, or was it Gnizen now she hit? No, hang on. No, I think she was firing at Turpitz. Right. Oh, Gnizen now is struggling. That was a really... Oh, okay. okay, she might be going slow anyway. Let's target the... Um... The war spike. Uh, no, she's been firing at the Nelson, so she hasn't fired at the, the war spike. So I reckon that's probably going to be around about the, uh, probably about the nine marks. We're probably there or thereabouts. So fire. Ooh, just lost. Meanwhile, um, Hutton, I want you to now concentrate on the lion. Uh, elevation of 13.3. Fire. Good. On the money straight away. The Shan Horse can also switch targeting to the Lion. 13.7. That sounds about right. Fire. Oh, it's a bit long. It's a bit long. Meanwhile, Turpits, uh, you can continue to fire at uh, War Spite. War Spite is sinking. Good. Concentrate all fire on that Lion Battleship. Superb. All right. Right, elevation 14.3. Fire! Oh, I love that sound effect. Right, she's making smoke and getting out of town. Don't blame her. Right, concentrate. Um, what was it? It was about 13. So let's raise the guns to about 13. 13, 7. 13, 9. There we go. Because she's a bit further back. Fire. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Far too long. Um, right. Uh, 13. I think we are on the money last time, weren't we? Yeah, there or thereabouts. So, uh, fire. Oh, ho, ho, that is a devastating blow. Right, we can't let it go now. Uh, 13.7 was long. Some way long. So if we drop that down to 12.7. Just a bit short. So she's around about 13. She's around about 13. And obviously adjusting for the relative different ship positions. Um, you are kind of forward than anyone else so you're probably it's probably in the 12s for you 12 6 fire oh no much closer um 14.3 was just long so if we target you there or we'll lower the elevation to say 37 On the money. Beautiful. She's just trying to run away now. Just trying to run away, which is uh, understandable, I suppose. Um, we were well long last time. What were we firing at? 13.8. Okay, let's come down to... Oh, surprises me, but okay. Let's go 12.5. Still long. Um, 13.3, we were, we were there, thereabouts, weren't we? So, I'm going to crank an extra notch of the elevation and fire. Nice. Um, talking to more of the front of the ship. Um, we were a bit short last time with 12.6, so let's go 13.2. Noise. We're going to have to start chasing her down because I think she may get away. Uh, last time we were well long with 12.6, so drop that down to 11.2. Getting closer, but still. Um, right, I want you to go flank speed. Start turning a little bit. You're going to be after the one who chases her. 13.7 um, was a bit short, so. Boop, 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 boop. Fire. Okay, good eyes now. Um, where were you with your last shots? There, twelve point six. You're on the money, so I reckon. Fire. Right, Hutton. Um, Let's have a look. Hang on. Uh, we probably need a little bit more range on there. So let's go 14. There or thereabouts. Just need to fine tune that a little bit. So here we are with the Shan horse. Now if we target there. 13. Where were we last time? 13 was short. So crank it up to 13.7. Fire. Turpits, right. Turpits is doing great. Where's the... She's there. Um, I think we were on the money last time, weren't we? Yeah, we were. So we're going to keep it about the same. Target probably about there. Fire. Should hit the back of the ship, I think. Or oh, it'll just skim the back of the ship. Kind of the, uh, the thought was right, where we should have probably lowered the elevation slightly. Um, just drop that down a touch. Fire. Oh, 
Oh, she's returning fire. She's given up with the smoke idea. Did he just take out our main... He did, our forward spotter. What a shot that was. Right, we can actually now um, use our... 12.8, they reckon. Okay, we'll, um, we'll log that in. Fire. Oh, we didn't adjust for the wind very well. Oh, we need to start getting after her a bit because she's getting away from us. 13.6, uh, they reckon. Boop, boop, boop. 13.7. Okay, fire. Oh, that's her rear turret out of action. Cue her going back to her runaway and smoke effect. <laughs> Right, here we are with the Sean horse. 14, they reckon. Fire. Okay, just got to keep an eye on that wind. Keep an eye on that wind. 10.8. Uh, See, so we're, we're all in a few degrees of what they estimate. Um, 13.9. What are we at? 13.7. Okay. All much of muchness. Boom. Okay. We'll have to check on the line, see how she's doing. I don't think she's, um... Oh, it's a big pause there. Every time there's a big pause, I always think, oh, is that, uh, is that it? Is that it? Let's have a look. Uh, propulsion and steering's damaged. Yeah, she's in a bad way. She's in a bad way. Um... Is whether or not she can get out of range by the time um, we can finish her off. That's the that's the key question. Um, 12.8, 12.7, fire. Maybe I didn't adjust for the wind enough on that one, I'm thinking. Yeah, there or thereabouts. Yeah, we should really be turning with the bike. Still get a reasonably good angle here. 13.8, uh, fire. Good series of hits there. <laughs> Just make sure we don't run into the back of anyone. That'd be awkward at uh, this fine time. Right, 13 7, fire. More hits on the rear. Over to our smoking turpits. Um, 11.4. Okay, that's gone up a bit. 11.4. Fire. Crunch. And finally, 13.9. Boop. Uh, just for the wind. Fire. Oh, that was devastating. Right along the waterline, that one. That would have done some serious damage. Target her. 13. Probably a little bit more of the dangle. Fire. I'm waiting for her to go bang any second. She's taking a hell of a pummeling. Uh, 14. 14.5. That's a hell of a change. Oh, she is moving some though, actually. Let's, let's go up to 14.2. I don't think 14.5 seems a bit... Slow you down a little bit so we don't start um, passing each other and blocking each other's line of sight. 14-1. Uh, Not that down one. Fire. Right, how is she doing? Can't be long now. She's in a bad way. Right, Turpits, can you get some lucky hits? Um, 11.7. Bam. Oh, boom. There goes another turret. Uh, 14.3. Oh, 
how much more can she take? I could see another another round. It would seem. Blimey, blimey. We know it's just a matter of time. Ooh, just shy again. <laughs> We're getting a little bit off with that ship back there. Now uh, we have to sort of try and nail that a little bit more. Uh, Fourteen point four. Fire. One good hit, a couple of misses. That was pretty poor, really, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, right, Sean Horse, can you do better? 39, 39, fire. Right. 11.7, boop, boop, fire. Shouldn't have adjusted actually. That was um, that's what threw us off. So the Turpitz has been one doing the um, quite damaging strikes. Fire. Oh, there's another tur. That's her turret out of action. She's now firing back with her secondaries. Taking out all her turrets, her primary weapons, has actually forced her to think of a different strategy. That was interesting. That's actually triggered her to do more. That's very interesting. I reckon it's 12.7. I reckon it's going to be more about 13.4. Fire. Yeah, we should start getting some hits on there now. Okay, 14... A weird sound effect just at the end there. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Is there going to be a secondary explosion? No. No. Can't be long now. Can't be long now. Fire. There she goes. Boom. Well played. Wow. That was fantastic. Well, there we go. If you ever wondered how a uh, a battle between the, the big ships of World War II, well, some of the big ships of World War II, uh, would end, then that is one way. So, an engagement between the Royal Navy and the Axis forces, the uh, Kriegsmarine. The Royal Navy lost the battleship Duke of York for 38,000 tonnes, the battleship Lion for 42,500 tonnes, the battleship Nelson for 34,000 tonnes, the battleship Prince of Wales for 38,000 tonnes, the battleship Warspite for 32,000 tonnes, and their heavy cruiser Suffolk for 10,500 tonnes. On the flip side, the Germans lost the battleship Bismarck for 41,700 tonnes. They had medium damage to the Gneisenau, um, and medium damage to the Tirpitz, the Hutton, Scharnhorst, and Lutzo survived without a scratch. Wow! I enjoyed that. Maybe we should do some more custom battles. Um, and maybe you can suggest some of the uh, ships you'd like to see um, go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You don't. I don't think you necessarily have to have uh, you know, Royal Navy. or a, I think there are a couple of American battleships in there as well. Uh, versus uh, Axis. You can have Axis versus Axis. You know, whatever you want. So yeah, I think we might be do some more custom battles <laughs> in the future. That was good fun. Right, we'll leave it there because it's been going on a little bit while now. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Something different even though it's a familiar game, and I'll see you next time. Take care.